I can't believe that today has arrived. The day you marry the man who no doubt you have dreamed of and prayed for God to give you. Marriage is the most important of all earthly relationships. It should be entered into reverently, thoughtfully, and with a full understanding of its sacred nature. Let me charge you both to remember that your future happiness as husband and wife can only be found by both of you having mutual consideration, patience, kindness, confidence, and affection towards the other. It is the duty of each of you to find your greatest joy in the company of the other. To remember that your love pledged today must remain undivided for a lifetime. It is your duty, Kyle, to be to Julie a considerate, tender, faithful, and loving husband. To support, guide, and cherish her in prosperity and in trouble. To thoughtfully and carefully enlarge the place she holds in your heart. To constantly show her tokens of affection. To shelter her from danger. And to love her with an unchangeable love. It is your duty, Julie, to be to Kyle a considerate, tender, faithful, and loving wife, to comfort, guide, and cherish him in prosperity and in trouble, to give to him unfailing evidence of your affection and to continue making the place he holds in your heart broader and deeper, to support him, value him, and work with him to make your marriage the very best that it can be. So it is God who is joining you today as husband and wife. It is God who will continue to strengthen the marriage bond that he is creating between you today. Therefore, call upon him in prayer, both individually and together as a married couple. Forsake not to assemble together as a family in God's house on the Sabbath day. As you both take these marriage vows today and commit your lives exclusively to each other. Know that you have a host of family and friends who love you, support you, and are praying for you to have a long and happy life together. I am so honored to have been able to stand by your side um, as you married the love of your life. Um, I hope, uh, I'm so happy for you and Kyle, and I hope and pray y'all have a blessed life together. Marriage is not a noun, it's a verb. It isn't something you get, it's something you do. It's the way you love your partner every day. Marriage is not always a fairy tale either. Um, it is love, selflessness, compromise, patience, and enduring the hard times together. Put Christ first, go to church together, pray together, never go to bed angry, and don't be afraid to say I'm sorry. These are just a few things that I've learned over the past years um, in my marriage. Kyle, uh, welcome to the family. We look forward to making many good memories uh, with the new Mr. and Mrs. Stevens. First off, I just want to congratulate the both of you. Um, Julie, I mean, I really don't think you could have picked a better man. And I know that you know that. You've had my back when nobody else did. And for that, I'm, I'm grateful to call you my best friend and I'm honored to be your best man. Like Kayla said, if y'all need anything, you can ask anything of me and I'll be there for you. So again, congratulations. and. I wish you guys the best in your marriage. For as much as Kyle and Julie have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this company and have thereto given and pledged their love to each other by the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel and in accordance with the laws of this state, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Kyle, you may now kiss your bride.